To counter the enormous weight of unemployment, small businesses are being offered low interest short term loans. The city's debuted last week. The federal government's tomorrow. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli sat down with a business owner trying to navigate all the applications. Keeping a small business up and running is about more than paying the bills. It's also about keeping people employed. And the weight of that responsibility is never far from many small business operators. They're still roasting up beans for the few clients they have left, but sales for veteran roasters are drying up. We've lost 90% of our business and our revenue. You've got to come to grips with it really quick. A staff of nine is now down to two. First come, first serve. And owner Brendan Marty is working the online applications meant to get money into the hands of small businesses quick. We've been prepared to uh, discuss and, and explain um, how much we've suffered in terms of revenue decrease. Whether it's the city's or the federal government's loan program. You can really knock it out in about 10 or 15 minutes. The majority of the monies must be dedicated to payroll, but how soon cash will flow is unclear. They talk to you about the urgency of requests and something you need today um, in two weeks or, or a number of months. What's your confidence in getting funds? I'm trying to be optimistic. Optimistic not only for himself, but his workers. Veteran Roasters refers not just to Marty's Navy past, but the often struggling vets he's chosen to employ. He's still partially compensating staff asked to stay at home. Financially, we're trying to keep everybody whole for as long as we can. It's kind of scary out there, though. Jesse Avasilla served in the Navy, too, bounced from job to job until Marty came along, and he's indebted. I'll fight with him. Uh, I'll go to war with him. And today, he is. It's a race against time to bring in that money to be able to survive just one more day. The wait for assistance could come as soon as tomorrow, or perhaps it's still weeks away. But it still can't come soon enough. In East Garfield Park, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.